Right, make up. <laughs> right, when you first get your tent, when it arrives, first thing to do, check you've got everything. With a bell tent, you need one pole, two bits, pegs, 16 of each, with a mallet. You've got nine inch pegs, 12 inch pegs, 16 of each. Your tent in its bag, instructions on how to erect it. Canvas and your ground sheet. Once you've got that, you know you're ready to erect it. For the instructions, it's easy enough to do. Take the tent, unfold it, lay it out flat. Alright, get your the upright pole, assemble the upright pole, the rounded end put to the top of the tent. Oops. Ready to do lift it up now, you know. Right, we'll put one foot on the bottom of the pole. Somebody lift the pole up. Simply hold the tent up right, <coughs> using the 12 inch pegs, peg the tent out, just peg it out loosely to start off with, no, 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 no. the dry ropes out, the dry ropes. Pull your door out that way, huh? Huh? pull the door out that way. Huh? That way. Yeah, right, once you've got a couple of pegs out, if somebody goes inside, holds the pole, while the other person just carries on pegging out the tent.
once you've got a few pegs up, you can then walk away, leave the tent, and let somebody else peg the rest of the tent out. During the meantime, before the tent's fully erected, Dutch lays the door shut to ensure that it does shut once the, pole, once the tent's erected correctly. To Dutch lace the tent, the first eyelet, the first loop, place the loop through the eyelet and pull it down. Put the second loop through the eyelet and through the first loop and pull it down. Put the third loop through the third eyelet, through the loop, pull it down. Eyelet through the, the loop rather, through the eyelet, through the loop, and pull it down. Through the eyelet, loop through the eyelet, through the loop. it down and then simply tie a loop in the bottom and that's the Dutch lacing completed. Right once once the tent's erected come to put the brailing pegs in to prevent the wind blowing it if you put the brailing in like that, give it a couple of twists, bang it in at an angle, tighten up. Tighten up your guy rope. And that will then stop the guy at the brailing pulling off. If it rains, just as a further tip, the canvas will shrink slightly, so will the guy ropes. When it rains, slacken off the guy ropes just a little bit. That will stop pressure on top of the pole pulling down and ripping the top of the tent. It will also take the pressure off off of here. When it stops raining everything dries out obviously. Just adjust them up slightly again and then you won't have no problems with your canvas ripping. Yep, yep. Right the best part of camping obviously is in the sunny weather. If you want to get some wet some nice breezes through simply with these ties fitted You can always roll up the wall in. There's a loop fitted there. Pass your tape through the loop. So there's no need to knot it. can carry on all the way around the tent like that and that will allow a lovely breeze through your tent. Right now the tent's erected 15-20 minutes job all ready for you to move in uh, enjoy your holiday if you do have problems with the Dutch lacing doing it up, we can supply a speed zip which you Dutch lacing to start off with and basically that just allows you to have a zip instead of the Dutch lacing. <laughs>